Oh, Rochelle. Rochelle Walensky. Uh, They're changing it. Uh, You know that feeling (laughs) when you think you're about to cross the line and maybe reach a goal, get somewhere, and you're finally about to accomplish something, you know, get to a resolution like they've been promising us now forever and ever. And uh, listen, folks, that uh, the touchdown is not in sight. Don't wave the foam fingers just yet unless you got one that, with a different finger sticking up because the goalposts, they're being moved yet again. The other day, as you just saw, the director of the CDC, the famed fence jumper and condescending vulture, Rochelle Walensky, indicated that the definition of what it means to be fully blah blah might be changing again soon. You may or may not remember, and most people don't because we've gone down the memory hole, that it wasn't all that long ago that our commander in Depends, Joe Biden, told the American people that not only were you good after one shot of the blah blah, but in fact you weren't going to get COVID if you got it. Well, 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 one shot turned into two, and now two looks like it's about to turn into two plus a booster, but hey, What's the big deal, right? I mean, it's just another jab. Only takes a couple of seconds. Stick it in there, baby. And it'll it'll keep you from killing. We don't even know exactly who it's going to keep you from killing anymore. I forget who the freak of the week is. But it doesn't matter because, of course, once again, the blah, blah isn't the point. The blah, blah isn't the point, and it never was. If you think that the left gives two craps about whether or not you get covid or even one single crap, then I've got an excellent bridge for sale. You can email me about it later, and I'll get your credit card information. As always, with the left, the whole enterprise is about control. It always has been. It always will be. You see, for the left, control is a drug, something you might, I don't know, maybe like a drug you put into a needle and shoot into your arm, and that high that it gives them is powerful. They have mystic visions of utopian cities on wheels driving over the backs of hateful, bigoted, small-minded people, crushing the skulls of critical thought with Terminator-esque machines of woke ideology. That's our skulls, folks, the ones with convictions and ideas and independent thinking and opinions floating around inside there. But the power on high, let me tell you something, that, that power that they have, it wears off. They, they, they need another drug. Because it's never enough just to get you from point A uh, of control to point B of control. Do you ever wonder why, uh, when you heard stories about those most awful communist leaders in history, their plans were always in steps of years? Uh, as it, you know, they had a five, they, they had a five step plan or they had a, a five year plan. And once they got to the end of the five year plan, they'd go into the second five year plan and on and on. So it's, it's always about steps, you know, plans and years of the plans and all this kind of stuff. So they need the next shot of the power drug. And next, that's not going to be enough. Then they're going to do the next. That's not going to be enough. The process of gaining control over the people and keeping control of the people are the same thing. It's a never-ending march towards a blood-soaked sunset. Folks, listen, if the CDC reclassifies what it means to be fully blah blah mark my words, it will not be because they care about you. But let's not end on a sour note. There's hope to be found here. Beneath every drug, there lies a secret consequence. In the case of control, it's fear. They wouldn't be rushing to make such idiotic statements if they weren't afraid that their control over you is slipping. They're afraid of you and what you might do if enough of you ever woke up at the same moment and decided that you've had enough. That is the moment when we've had enough of them jerking everyone's change from their positions of power. When you see someone like Rochelle Walensky make a statement like this, it's okay to be outraged. This BS has gone on long enough, and that's for sure. But just remember, she's like the spider in the bathtub. She's more afraid of you than you are of her. Their power is slipping, folks, and it shows. So be aware of the blah, blah.